Good morning, weeners. As it's apple harvest season, today it's all about the apples. And they're like what's wonderful about humans in that they're all different, but they're also a handy little superfood that you can take anywhere. I'm going to be showing you the three different ways to give it to the babies. So we've got confidence level one, two, and three. Now, I'm actually going to start with level two because it takes a bit longer than the others. So we've got an apple and then we're going to core it because we're going to be making baked apple rings. So it's always a gamble. Will I have got the precision, get it out the other end? Oh, I just about did. Let's have a look. So now we're going to slice it into rings. If you've got a mandolin, then uh, they'd all be an even size, but I'm just doing it with a knife and some are a bit bigger than others, but it'll be fine. So when you've sliced them, you just have to pop them in some water with a slicer with a little bit of lemon in it so they don't lose their colour. And while they're in there, you preheat the oven to 180 and line a baking tray with some baking paper. Now I feel like a real Blue Peter presenter now because I can say, here's some I made earlier. I've patted them dry in some kitchen uh, paper just so they're not too soggy and then we line the baking tray with them. They're going to go in the oven for about 50 minutes but some will take longer you know depending on how thick you've done the slices so just keep an eye on them. We do have to turn them once so it's 50 minutes turn them once so at 25 minutes just turn them over and I've got two different colours in here. I've got green and red, just for a bit of variety. So I'll pop them in and wait for them to come out. It's time to turn, and if you've got tongs, it does make it a bit easier. There we have it, baked apple rings. Next is the puree. So again, we have to uh, core and peel. Let's see, or oh, a bit more to the left, he thinks. It's like you need a degree in coring an apple. I keep missing the middle. And now I don't think I should be a pilot. Okay, so we've peeled it. No, we've not, we've cored it. And now we're gonna peel it. I always try and peel it like my nanny used to do and go all the way around like a snake because I used to think that was really fun. When she'd finished at the end, I thought she was like a magician. Well, it appears I need a lot more practice because my snake doesn't really look like a snake. <laughs> but I got, I got quite far. So now we've peeled and cored it, we chop it into chunks. And then we're going to pop it in a pan and cover it with water and then let it boil for about 10 to 15 minutes. In and we're going to cover it with water. Once they've cooked, then transfer them into a bowl and you're making it into the puree. So you, if you wanted a really smooth one, you could use a hand blender and put in some of the baby's usual milk. Or if you want a bit of a lumpier texture, just use a fork and just mush it up together. You could combine this with pears, that'd be nice. Pair it with a pear. Or you could add a little bit of cinnamon into it. They can have this just on their own as maybe as a first food. Or you could add it to a bit of natural yoghurt, that'd be yummy or into the porridge. So it's uh, very versatile. But yeah, there we have it. We've got apple puree at confidence level one. Lastly, it is a food hack. You know how we love a food hack. And this one was sent in to us by Anne, so thank you very much, Anne. This is how to take an apple out and about. And you've got to think about the old hashtag because we're going to cut the apple into a hashtag around the core. So we go there, either side of the core, so it almost like makes like a, a three like this, 
and swizz it. Another technical cooking term. And then we go again, either side of the core. Oh, you've got to have about a million hands. It's like you're an octopus. But we're used to that, aren't we, with babies? <laughs> then, here's the clever bit, because we're going to put an elastic band around it to keep it all together so it doesn't turn brown when you're out and about. So there we have it. We've had three different ways of giving apples to the babies or the toddlers. And now it's time for the weenie taste test. 